listen to me, feel like I don't even want to play this song again. But we are going to talk about don't waste today. But before we do anything and everything, we give God the Almighty for one thing. Prayer. We say before we do anything and everything, we do one thing. So before we do anything and everything, we are going to do one thing. So the square God to the make with fox, Father God, for your visit. Most righteous and heavenly Father, mighty God, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity that you have given us. Mighty God, you had saw it fit to give us another opportunity to be a part of a day that no man on earth has never ever seen before but you. Lord God, again, in spite of our situation, our circumstances, even our losses of yesterday, you saw it fit to give us another chance. And with that, we thank you. But mighty God, as we gather at your table this morning to allow you to give us what we need for today, we give it back to you, telling you to clean it, to make sure it's perfect for your doing. Mighty God, let your will be done in our life and on this platform and in everything that we do. And in your name we pray, we say, Amen. Listen, my man, before we do everything or anything, we do one thing. We say, well, before we do everything or anything, we do one thing. We give God all honor. First thing, never you left out that. I said, before you do anything and everything, do one thing, pray. I said, I want free dial for link the Almighty. There was a time you would have to go to priests, person with title, just so they can sacrifice something for the Almighty for you. But thank God. Thank God that he sent his only begotten. I said, he sent his only boy. And he said, see, because I love you, no? I'm going to send my son saying so he can't dead for no. Meaning dead for all of the sins they want to ever create. The one they want to create right now. And the one they want to about to create. So you see with that. Him not only going to sacrifice two lamb and two dove and two bull. He's going to sacrifice himself. That our ongoing blood. So at any given time. You ready to talk to me? The sacrifice is already made. For that time. For the time to come and for the past time. I tell you no. So you see that I want, I want, I want free ticket you get. Me say you get one free ticket. One free ticket, me say. To what me tell you now, transparent and clear. Me say the ticket free is all a sin where you are plan to make next week where you know enough for the Almighty. Me say the plan where you have to make next week where you know say you have nothing to do with Father God. I'm going to talk to you next week. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you nothing else. I say, I'm, I'm going to talk to you next week. But today, we now waste today. We now waste a day that is being given to us that no man on earth has never ever seen. But Father God see it fit. I was about me. You need to ask yourself. Father God, I was about me. Remember, see, you see, I stress out. You know? Remember, see, you see, they say, me they got two big things. You see, I lost my people. I mean, I'm moon still, so I was so born me. Make you give me an opportunity. Me not have as much money. Me health not really up there. Me still a sin. What born me? Oh, no, we ask for I got that in the car. Somehow we corrupt, you know? Me say, somehow we corrupt. So we have to ask for I got them things. I was so born me, G. Because many times, we just feel like we can just, we, we alive, we for us live. The world teach us. To live then dead. I'm going to repeat this every week. Every opportunity. Because you know we're there every single Sunday. Father God give us 7 a.m. in the morning Eastern time we're there. And every time we're there I'm going to tell you this. When it comes on to the Almighty. First you have to dead. Then live. Dead to the nature of the thing where you think is right. And surrender to him. Where he's going to show you now what is right. I tell me, I tell him. I say me I'm going to be as transparent as possible. You probably look at my dreads and my ears ring and my tattoo them and I say, who him? No, man, I understand. I'm just a vessel. Ready to be used whenever, wherever for the Almighty. My answers, them are yes and amen. And them just is not for some season, you know. Oh, yeah, that pastor said me say, my answers are yes and amen and not for just some season. Because some people are going through some something. That time I feel like and that time I alone me feel like almighty. And when that time I done, me feel like me for just go back to my own way. No, we are doing it wrong, my friend. My friend, we are doing it wrong. 
we have to figure out this thing the right way. I know many times you think that your goal is such and you have ac accumulated such and you're still unhappy. What is such for you? I don't know. Probably a money relationship, career, business. I'm not sure. But many times we feel like that is it. And when we get it, we still in need of something. So, you notice, when I ask another question, I tell me, I tell them something I've been in. You know? I go through some something and I'm glad Father God say, oh, is this some something you think I go through? And it's material for help build something on me that you can help somebody else come through. People call it testimony. We call it material. Because that only helped me build my, my faith and my strength stronger for go through what is to come. Now we are talking about today. What in other day to come? Now we are going now, word. We pray already. I think we, you know, talk to him. We write some notes. We have some Bible verse. Because again, we don't want you to think that we miss the height. We want you to go back and read it for yourself. And then if me wrong, come tell me. But don't go to say cut you wrong, you know. So cut you, I think you were wrong in saying this and you should say this by finding this there. <laughs> Cause if my boy don't feel like he won't correct me with the word in the bet, you stay the hell in it, my friend. Remember we act <laughs> we humble open our transparent for Father God. Yeah. Believe. But we now waste it. I mean I don't want to waste no more of your time by telling you a bag of things we know already. You know we serve the great almighty. The one that looks down and grants us every opportunity. You know that. So back with us, tell him thanks again. Thank you again, mighty God, for today. Thank you again for your word. Thank you again for your platform. Thank you again for using me. Amen. That could be a prayer. That could be your prayer. By not wasting today, first thing more and tell her is... You and I are not promised for the next second. You and I are not promised for the next second. We see this. We see this regular. That people plan for the next day but not knowing their life could be taken the next second. Me and you not plan for the next. Many of us say, yo, you know, you not plan for the next. Me and you not plan. You can't see the life and see my God and any of you have for us and say, wow, wow, go on. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 and the fastest way for a man lose their life, really, I think in you have more life. <laughs> but so one at the time, I used to put off opportunity. And I said, next week, me deal with it. Understanding that me no must live for see next week. I said, the fastest way you can lose the life that you have, I feel like you have more life. For those things say I have more life. For those things say you know, so when me are farting, me can't, you just way you see. I tell my tell her. I'm going to think about it. The fastest way to lose the life yeah, of the things that you have much more. So my question today to you really. What are your plans today? What are your plans today? My plan, can you ask me, is to give God all glory. Yeah, because I'm going to find that out in other words. I'm going to tell you. I say my plan today, I forgive give God all glory. But I'm God alone. Figure God glory, but God alone. Now, I like when Matthew 6 tell me, right? And we know this. We need to make a search feed. If you're born early like me, you know, say, right? The, 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 the prior, our Father Wart in heaven, all it be thy name, everybody's supposed to know that at least two line out tight. Right? Everybody's supposed to know that at least two line out tight. Now, I like. What this line out tight, and you can find this line in Matthew 6, verse 11. Matthew 6, verse 11. Me like read from the NIV, New Living Version. Now it said, Put it. <coughs> Matthew 6, it said like this Give us today our daily bread. Give us today our daily bread. Give us today our daily bread. Give up, may I repeat this for a reason. Give us today our daily bread. Thank you for today our daily bread. No, he never said thank you for yesterday. He never said thank you for the week. 
He never said thank you for the month. He never tell us if you thank God only Sunday alone for the one hour. Then me just read it for yourself, Matthew 6, verse 11. When me read this, he only tell me, say, me need to repeat this every two day that I get. Now me look at the whole paragraph like this. You as a child, you wake up, right? And your parents probably wake up before you. But the parents is more in charge of you. So when you wake up, thank you today for your daily bread. To me, is you going for breakfast. You're getting up each and every single morning, going downstairs to the kitchen, wherever the kitchen is, I go to the outside, looking for breakfast. How often I eat breakfast? Every month? Every Sunday? Every New Year? Blow, wow, yeah! If you want, I don't know where I'm going for I got New Year's night alone and then go out, go to eat, go do eat, all right. One time I hear you get breakfast. This song will show me say a daily was supposed to the honor the Almighty. Daily was supposed to come to him. Ask him what is for breakfast today. Father, thank you for waking me up. What you have for me eat today? Meaning, what are the tasks you have for me to be done today? What are you using me for today? What can I do today for you to get the glory? Let us ask. Because we ask these questions. Why am I here? Why was I even born? Why am I born over the party I world? Why am I born? And in the address here, we ask these questions. Why, 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 why? And if you look, in your match, a big question now. See, friend, just ask me, why am I seeing this man of God page today? Because today is the right day, sis. Blessings and queen. Again, we ask them question Why am I here? Why am I born? And for the person that's just joining the live, put it by your calendar and set your alarm. We are here each and every single Sunday, 7 a.m. Right, that's all. But the question again, why am I here? Why was I born? Why this? Why that? Why? 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 You only ask me if he asks you, what is your why? Because we have all of these why questions. Do you have a why? Do you have a why you are here really and truly? I would just ask them, not getting the answer. Because I did in one place at a point in my life when I asked question, wasn't receiving the answer. I don't lie. I ask question. Because I realized that I had a smile that got school where the same age, where the same color. You rich and me poor. Oh, that makes sense. Why? We don't know, no. Again, a hot live, a hot ras. We don't blow open our transparent. We now go for sugarcoat this. I ask these questions. I charge you. Charge you have seen mother. I charge you have a mother and a father, you know. Me have that too. So why you have money and me not have money? Me ask these questions. Why you can't read so good and me can't read? This something just show you. We've been asking why a long time. But more I help you know, today, I don't know why. Jerry Flowers say it this way, one of my mentor. It's the why that gives you strength to, the, to withstand the when. I like that. Listen again. The why is supposed to be the one that gives you strength to withstand the when. The why have to give you strength to withstand the when. The why have to give you strength to withstand the when. Me, me say me I repeat this for a reason. The why, the reason, have to make sure you have strength for when. Yo. You get it? Alright, let me say it again. The why, the reason, have to give you as much strength for when. Me go tell you why. So that when life hits, when life happens, when you are disagreeing in an argument, when people are talking about you, when people are calling up your name, when people are using you, when people betray you, when... You want more when? <laughs> I say if you want more when, can we have them in a... Yeah, man, you have all the power, but we have when too. So I'm going to ask you again, the reason why you do what you do, 
supposed to give you strength. So when when come, you can stand firm. I say, let me ask, let me tell you a story. You see, man, in smoke with me, I do. No feel like I not get fight, you know. No feel like people ask me, so why you smoke weed and I talk about God? So why you have a tattoo and I talk about God? So why, so why, so why, so why, so why, so why, so why? They ask you why too, more ask They ask you why too? People ask you why? People ask you why? People ask you why? But you say, when? I realize it. I not just day after day I see it. You say, when? I realize it. I was chosen. You say, when? I realize I was picked amongst many. You say, when? I decide I realize that I was a light to darkness. None of them, why no bother me no more? And me ask you, what's going on in your life? Why this, why that, why that? But when this, when this, when this, what happened? So your reason, your why, supposed to give you strength of when. <laughs> My question to you, what are you doing today? Do not waste today. You probably wonder why that twice did. But I know if you are reason why you're still there, sir. It's because you see what I say. And I thank you. I appreciate you. But we ask the people them, what's your reason? What's your why? Many people tell me, say, them pick me. Many people tell me, say, this. But I've made a post before, and that's the post I'm going to clear up. What is the matter? Don't restrict me. Oh, no, do not do that to me right now. Oh, no, restrict my life. Two restrictions, what me do wrong? Not do me that, man. Father, God, have your way still, you know. Let your will be done and not mine. Amen. Listen. You see, when me just start this, I'll buy my family member, man. Closest, man. I ask me and I tell me, say, I fall in this matter. But then, Father God, he make it clear to me the reason why he had called me. And probably it's just for today to remind you that he had called it you. But I'm glad. But before then do all of them do what they might do on him live, yeah? we're going to continue, you know? All right, good. Now, my thing is, you'll never question things when the why is clear. You'll never question why people ask all of these questions when your why is clear. Me say, it will, you will never question anybody when your reason for being is clear. Me say, today the topic is don't waste today. And the reason being for that, me don't want you used today. Plan for the future that you have never seen yet. I don't want you use today and remind you of the stuff of yesterday and waste today. Again, I do not want you use today. Worry about what is to come. And I don't want you use today. Stress about what has been has done. I want to say that again. Do not use today and wasting what is to come. And don't use today by dwelling as what has done. Use today as the best of every opportunity that is given to glorify the Almighty. You know what I'm saying? So, with that now, it's me want to help you today with your why. You know? Because it's important. It's important to know that we are here for a reason and what reason we are here for. It's important now that, that why will help you. Give you strength for when the when then come. When stuff happen and all of that. Right? Now, Ephesians. Write this for me. This is a Bible. Ephesians 5 verse 17. Hmm. It's still something more we have said all morning. If you can write it, please write it for me. I'm just want one somebody write it for you no know, so there. Ephesians, you can just write E P H five verse. Let's start read from verse 15 to 17. Now really verse 17 more and get. But a little bit before that. So write it for me, because again, I don't want you to feel like this I come from it. More you understand so you can go back and read the word for yourself. So I really want to make you know. So this is from Ephesians 5. Verse 17. I read that first and then we'll go back to 15. Just to 
verify or clear up my claim. Verse 17. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord will is. Now, let's go back to 15. And I'll, we will find out where you're not to be foolish about. Verse 15. Be very careful then when you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Verse 17. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord will is. Let me. Probably I said that, that kind of look a bit too confusing. Let me help him. Let me, let me get a little better understanding. Verse 16 said, Making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Be very careful when you live as an unwise, making sure every opportunity is usable in because of the days that are evil. This simple I tell us. <laughs> Father God, no one to be fool fool when evil days come. One who no know say him did it for you. Again, when evil times comes, when bad moments come, God want you know who you be. Remember me tell you now, my when, my why is stronger for when when. When people say cut you why you there, me know why I'm here. Me know that because he called me. He told me. He considered me peculiar, different, set above the rest. Head and not the tail. Give her not the barrel. Light. Salt. Special sauce. When me understand that, me understand. So when evil time come, that mean when the widen come. Because why is our evil times too, you know? Let me tell you, you know. When the widen come, my one is standing firm. When the widen come. It's standing firm. That's what I tell him. Now, I like that. He said, therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will is, the Lord will is. I probably that our problem. We do not know what God will is. So that when evil time come, we do not know what to do. That make any sense? Again, because we do not know what God will is, when evil time come, we don't know what to do. <laughs> hey, hey, me say, say, when you start reading this one yourself, you read it now. Me say, we don't know where God will is. That's why when evil time come, we don't know where we do. Father God, our creator, if you overcome any testimony, any trials and tribulations that come your way now. Now, the trials and tribulations that come your way may not come the same way for your friend. I said the trials and tribulations that will come your way may not, will not come for your friend. That's why both of you can stand up looking at a situation, one have a problem, the other one don't. Because God will for you is different. I'm going to find another Bible for showing me something. I'm going to find another Bible for showing me something. I want to feel like all of me attack. I'm going to attack. I'm going to this one. I say, say, if I did up to my will, I sleep in my bed. 7 o'clock on a Sunday. Who have you up? Most God. Now, I like where Isaiah. Look, for, look, write this now. Isaiah 43. Verse... You know, I don't really want to reach us yet. I don't really want to reach us yet. I think we are going too fast. Because I really want to get this. I say, if we get this within the time we have, we can come back next week. So I now rush this. I now really rush this because I want to get this step by step by step. When I think Father God grant me all of these things with us, no say them. You know why I know why I waste today? You know why I know the individual you were called peculiarly? It's because one day, me and you have to go face ja. One day, me and you have to go face ja. And he now go ask me where you do. He now go ask you where me do. He now go ask me what have I done with the time that he has given me. That he now go ask me. I am want to be able to tell him something to get this answer. 
Well done, my good and servant. My good servant. Well done. I do not want to hear. Move from me, I know you not. Again. Two are we? Ephesians 5 verse 17. Two are we? Two are we? After face Jah one day. Me know him not go ask me. Cutty, what you see them do? Then go and go. No, he not ask me that. And he not go say, oh no, what Cutty do? He go and go. No, he not go answer that. He not go ask her that. A two thing, he probably never ask you a question. Move from me. I know you not. Well done, my good answer, servant. Which one you want here? Anyone you want here determine what you do it today. No way to them and say anyone you want here determine it where you do it today. Anyone you want here. So you tell me which one you want here and then you determine. No, God determine where you go with today. No, the next part is. The next part is, wait, let me make sure I find it. Come I'm right down the notes and it does do that deliver in my cranium. I'm going to just want it to reach to the point that where God get all of the glory because that is very important. Remember, when me tell us Ephesians 5 verse 17 really tell me that if we're ignorant of what God will is, we live foolish with the, with, with the in, in the evil time. Meaning, if you don't know what God will is, when evil time come, you don't know what to do. So that means, if you're really ignorant about not knowing what God will is, when evil time come, things are going to go wrong. Let me just be straight. If you're ignorant by not knowing what the will of God is in your life, when time come, when trials and tribulation come, you know when I say dead, because I can't tell you that, but things are going to go wrong. Things are going to go wrong. Things are going to go wrong. You ever see some people run around like headless chicken? You ever see some people just call, call, Tom, Tick and Aria tell them about them problem? Why am I going through this? I don't know what to do. Why am I suffering? I don't know what to do. 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 Why did I get to me? I get... You see, if you find out where we, God will is for your life, all of that time. I say you don't have to call nobody. Remember me telling you when I have free digits a line? Toll free. When you go through every toll fast and go through it as any speed. Because something happened you can say, Father God, I ask you for strength. It's when you know what God will is. Let me show you one cheat code. Let me show you one cheat code. I think I have to read the next part because sometimes I have to read the next I have to read the next Put this in the chat for me Isaiah 43 verse 7 Isaiah 43 verse 7 Just put that in the chat for me Isaiah 43 verse 7 Isaiah 43 verse 7 Isaiah 43 verse 7 Why more you put that in the chat? Because more you read it for yourself And it reads like this Everyone who is called by my name Whom I created for my glory Whom I form and made Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my... Everyone that is called by my name, whom I created for my... Everyone that is called by my name. Everyone who is called by my name, by my name, by my name. May I repeat this for a reason. By my name, God said, let there be light and there was light. God said... Let sea be sea, land be land, sky be sky. God say, let there be man. God say, God say. So all of that are God said. All of that is what God created. Why we are serve when create? Why we are serve moon? Why we are serve universe? Why we are serve nature? Why we are serve when create? That is not God will. That is not God will. I mean, just eliminate some something for you try to find that intimacy there with the Almighty for yourself and find out what God will for you. I don't know what God will there for you. My 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 architect 
ways of being here today is to remind you figure link the almighty and find out what god will is for you whom i created for my glory whom i created for my glory so the rain the whatever is there is for god's glory you are here for god's glory not for anything else for God glory. So that means if you are here for God glory, that means if you eat for God glory, if you sleep for God glory, if you talk to anybody else for God glory, let me help you. Your trials is for God glory. Your tribulation is for God glory. Just as the happiness and your joy and your peace. So what does that help you and a teacher? That when you go through some, something and it's something they farm in front of you and I go and do them thing. And what that now? And I go and do them thing. No, like, let me fix this. When the situation them in front of you and I farm up and I go on to the thing, I have to say, hello. Talk to Father God. This is not for me. <laughs> Cheat code. Me say, hello. Talk to Father God. That not me. Say, so when they say trials come, God deal with your trials for me. When I say problem come, God deal with it. Just as how you say when time when I have a relationship and the spouse come, God deal with the spouse for me. I tell my female the other day, say, yo, for me, if I love you, I have to ask Father God, oh, for love you, because you don't even know how to love yourself. I say, you don't even know why you were here, so you don't even know what you have. So I have to ask Father God, oh, what you give me from Mama? Oh, what you put Mama in my life for? You don't have to be intentional with this thing, you know. We can't just live and feel like someone I did with dead and other so you know. No, God called us here for a reason, fam. May I try my best to explain as much as me can give what him give me for give, but trust me. We not just day after day I see you. May not make we waste today. Do not make we waste today. I feel like I want to stop this for a second. Because even when I read in a, in a, in a this and I say, Everyone who is called by my name, who I created for my glory, whom I form and made, that part they get me. Whom I form and made. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 today. I can't put this in your chat when I have to look for it. Say, I form you in the womb. I form you before I place you in the womb. Your mother, I form you before your mother knew you. That means you were created, designed, and orchestrated before. God did us have you upon reserve and tell us for a time like this I call you. I think when I preach it and tell us that you're a great man and woman are born for the time that they are needed the most. You were born for this time because you are needed for now. God has architected and placed something in you where you are alone. You are alone. Alone can do it. That's why you're there. And it's for him to get the glory, not you. I say, Father God orchestrated before your mother knew you because he might wait for you for a time like this. Now, in place in a time like this, and it's for his glory, not yours. So, anything you do is for him. Make sure it's an honor him. I just say, anything. He say, come as you are, wherever you are, whatever you have. Let him use it to multiply it for better and to him, kingdom, not yours. I try, I try to show and say, all of them something we think we are going to I for God's glory. Everything work out for his good. Everything. All in time you mess up 89 times. I mean, probably 99, but all in you mess up so much time. It is for his glory. It is for his glory. Take me take up all the power on the time this morning. So that's how I close off by praying. And again, remember we're there each and every single Sunday, 7 a.m. Most righteous and heavenly father, we thank you. Mighty God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for using this vessel, using this platform to get to those ears. Lord God, thank you for again using me, seeing it fit that I am to be used. But mighty God, I'm nothing. But you saw it fit to not only use me, but to use your people to receive such a message so they can deliver to other ears that is needed. Thank you again for your word. Thank you again for your space. Thank you again for using us. In your name we pray. Amen. Men, make we no waste today. Make we no waste today. Me could have tell us no waste next week. But me know I use today and plan for that. And me know I use today and worry about what forgot. Make we no waste today. 
whenever you have the opportunity, which you should find the opportunity to have that intimacy with the Almighty each and every single day. Give us today our daily bread. Give us today our daily bread. Listen, we are here each and every single Sunday. God give the opportunity. I go give him all glory by giving him what he has given us to give. Blessings and peace. Me appreciate every single one of you. Every single one. Many times these lives are recorded and placed for YouTube. So you can go back and watch them in case you miss them. Miss the whole segment. Morning smoker. I just look for my name. Kotipang. You know what I'm saying? Remember, at live and at trust. We're humble, we're open, and we're transparent. Trust me, my generation right now, in the era in which God called me for, my beliefs and knows that we deserve real. We don't want a sugar coat and we don't want a candy wrap. We want the truth, the hard facts. And that's that our day I forgive. So love and love alone here. Always peace, always joy. Just have patience, God, I do what I do in your life. Allez